Hey everyone, my name is Justin and today's tutorial comes from a YouTube comment suggestion that asks if I can make a tutorial on making TV snow or static in Photoshop. And I thought that'd be pretty fun, so let's give it a shot. So the first thing you're going to do is open up a new canvas of whatever size you want to work with and just make sure that the background contents are set to black. On our new canvas, we want to go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. I'm going to use 100% Gaussian monochromatic distribution, but you can adjust it to your taste. Press OK, and the next thing we want to do is add those black and white variations of color. So grab your gradient tool, and we want to use the second default gradient, which is the foreground color to a transparent color. Make sure your foreground color is set to black. Also make sure reverse is unchecked. And then you want to use the reflected mode, and then on a new layer, we're gonna start creating some variations in color. So I'm gonna hold shift to create a straight line and I'm gonna make a few lines at the top and the bottom. Now I'm just gonna set the blending mode of this layer to about 50%. Now I'm gonna create some white gradients. So on a new layer, I'm this time just gonna grab my rectangular marquee tool and I'm gonna make a selection that cuts in about halfway through the photo and I'm gonna grab my gradient tool. This time, make sure your foreground color is set to white and you're working on linear mode. Now just click and drag and you should create a gradient that cuts in about halfway through the photo. So I'll go ahead and press Command D to deselect. And then I'll also go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and I'll blur it about five pixels just to smooth it out. Now this layer, I'm gonna to set to a little bit lower around 25 to 30% opacity. Next, I wanna add some distortion to the noise. So I'm gonna to go to Layer, New Layer, and I'm gonna to go to Image, Apply Image. This is just gonna take everything we've done so far and place it on one layer for us to distort. So on this layer, I'm gonna to go to Filter, Distort, Shear. Here, you can just mess things up and create a bunch of waves until it looks like an S and then make sure you're working on wrap around mode and press OK. But an additional step you can take to distort more is go to filter, distort, wave, and then use a setting of two generators, one to 999 wavelength and one to about 20 amplitude. Make sure the scale is at 100% on both horizontal and vertical and you're working on wrap around mode. You can randomize a few times if you'd like, but if you go ahead and press OK, you'll see that we've added a little bit more of a wave to our noise. Finally, I'm gonna to go to Filter, Distort, Pinch, and I'll use a percentage of about negative 10% just to make the noise pop out a little bit as if it was on a non-flat TV screen. So press OK, and then lastly, I'm going to add a little bit of a border that makes it look like a TV edge. So I'll go to Layer, New Layer, now I'm going to grab my rounded rectangle tool and working on path mode with a radius of about 20 pixels roundness. I'm going to click and drag out a rounded rectangle in the middle of my photo. I can know that it's in the middle when I see those guidelines pop up. So make sure it snaps to the center and then press the make selection button. Now you want to grab your rectangular marquee tool, right click and select inverse. Finally, right click and fill this new selection with solid black. Right click and deselect your selection and that'll give you your TV like border. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to create TV static and snow in Photoshop. Of course, there's so many different ways you could play around with these filters to create your own version of this, but these are typically the, the filters and the tools that you can use to create TV snow. If you had any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe for weekly Photoshop tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.